Hi everybody. I'm Vinika Bhatia and it's wonderful to be here and share my journey with all of you. A lot has happened in the last 30 years and it's great to be here. But before I delve into my journey, I would like to begin with a defining moment that happened very recently. I was in a meeting with a manager of a top gourmet retail chain in India. He tasted one of our newly launched products, the Thai chili blend. He popped an almond in his mouth. I was looking at him, waiting for his reaction. He exclaimed, Vinika, I've never seen such a big almond. I've never tasted an almond so crunchy, so palatable, with such a wonderful mouthfeel. Do you know what happened next? He called me and he told me, we want these products on our shelves ASAP. I was so happy. And do you know how I got here? Let me share a couple of milestones of my life with you all. Do you recognize this market? You can get there easily by metro, but if you take your car, you're stuck. Close. Yes, Kari Bawali. That's right. You get some delicious food here. My family's business of trading dry fruits has been in this market since over a century. I remember going there as a little girl, but only till I was about eight years old. And I wondered, why have we stopped going? But I got busy with school. This market was heavily male dominated. There was not a single woman who was in this market, in this industry, in this dry fruit trade. And it'll be of interest to you all to know that I chose my career path in this industry. It streams and it comes up from the gullies of Chandani Chowk, from the gullies of Khadi Bauli. And do you know how I got here? Let me take you into my childhood. My father and grandfather were stalwarts in the dry fruits industry. Katra Ishwar Bhavan in Khadi Bauli used to be doing trade not only within India, but also across the world with countries such as America, Afghanistan, UK, Middle East, all over the world. It would intrigue me to attend strange phone calls from strange people with strange accents. And you know, my favorite caller was Haji Wazir from Afghanistan with his seven wives. It would intrigue me to hear all those accents and hear my grandfather and father close deals in seconds. How, how wonderful were those days? What a different world when actually deals happened on your zuban, on your word. And now, we want everything to be documented on our email, confirmations, put it on the cloud. What a different world. When my grandfather used to be sitting and giving advice to other people, people used to come visit him pretty often. This little girl used to be sitting unnoticed, unobserved, unobtrusive. And somewhere, subconsciously, she was imbibing some very important life lessons and some very important lessons of business success. That little girl I'm talking about is me, Dinika Bhatia. So I knew at this age, this young age of 12, that I need to change my school. I went up to my father and I told him, Papa, I need to change my school. And he asked me why. And I told him, I want to go to a school that gives me better opportunities, that gives me more exposure, that gives me exposure to the real world that is going to be conducive to what I want to do as my second goal, which is to go study abroad. Then I want to join the family business. And I want to take it to the next level. What do you think happened next? It wasn't an easy journey. Not as easy as it sounds. I had to fight with him. I had to reason it out with him for weeks and weeks and weeks. Finally, 
after weeks when he agreed, I changed my school in class 8th. And when I changed my school, I knew that if I am to go to a good college, a good university, I have to start working hard from now. High school was fun and busy. I was part of several clubs, part of the social service club, entrepreneurship club, environmental club. I was a prefect on the student council. I was a house captain. I was working so hard to a point that my friends flooded my house a week before my exam to get my notes. Don't get me wrong, I wasn't a nerd. I just enjoyed doing all this. As I had a goal, I was working towards a goal. And then came the last few years of high school when I was working towards my college applications. When I got into the University of Southern California, I was ecstatic. I was on seventh heaven. Firstly, it's got the most amazing entrepreneurship program in the world. And secondly, because it's in the land of nuts, California. While I was there, I would drive up to an almond orchard to watch an almond bloom, to connect with top minds of the industry. I interned at an almond trading company. But let me share you my favorite moment from university. This is me stomping up and down the library. It's the final day before the submission of my business plan. I'm agitated, I'm nervous. It's past midnight. I've worked four years for this. I have an immaculate business plan, but I don't have a brand name. I tell my friend, Rahat, we need to get into the nitty gritty of the product. And there rang the bell. Nitty gritty, nutty gritty. Nitty gritty, nutty gritties. Oh my God, one of the best moments of my life. Let me share another amazing moment with you. It was the day of my graduation and my entrepreneurship professor came and told me, Vinika, you better go back there and implement this business plan that you've been working on. It's the best in the class. It's been awarded as the best business plan of the class. Professor Henry, let me tell you, from 1st June 2009 to 21st April 2018, I have been doing exactly that. I thought, when life gives you nuts, you make nutty gritties. So I came back and I started working on that long journey of what I call making a brand out of a commodity. When I made Nutty Gritties, I decided there have to be three aspects that have to be very, very important. First, it has to be healthy. So we don't use a single drop of oil. Everything is dry roasted. Secondly, it has to be, has to be conveniently packaged for all different kinds of occasions, on the go, take home party packs, and bulk consumption. And thirdly, it has to cater to different palates. So from raw to basic salted, we have sweet, savory, and spicy. I'm very happy to share that today, we have a variety of 14 products in healthy basics, as well as exotics. We also have a limited edition in which we keep doing new flavors every couple of months. But don't think that a trip abroad brings you back, that a degree abroad just brings you back. You start your business, you have a brand, you, and it's a success. No, it's not like that. I had to face a lot of challenges in all different domains of business. From challenges related to attitude, to challenges of business without any prior experience, to challenges of the newly burgeoning, ever-increasing competition in the Indian market. Some people didn't even take me seriously. I mean, I was the first girl in the industry. That too, with a concept that did not even exist. People thought 
let me humor her for a while. Her passion will die down after a couple of days, after a couple of years. Sooner or later, Shadi ho jayegi. She'll get married. Let her do this. Let her enjoy this. I remember a trader from Jaipur telling me, Madam, your packaging is too dull. It will not work in the Indian market. I thought in my head, bright red, dull. And he probably thought in his head, theek hai, it's fine, let her do this. Some people wouldn't say stuff, but then I could tell from their attitude that they were just placing my product there for some time, thinking this passing fad will die down soon. Secret. I think my father thought the same. But that converted when he saw my hard work and my results. And then, what that Jaipur trader thought turned out to be right. The most recession-proof industry in India. What is it, guys? Any guesses? What could have happened? I got married. And was divinity playing its role or what? My husband, too, was in the food industry. He had successfully branded a commodity. The first couple of times we met, all we talked about was your sales structure, our, our customers, the branding, administration, back-end, factory, this, that, and it was a yes. It was almost like I had got a free consultant. <laughs> and so had he. So, back to the brand. While we were making strides in the Indian market, the brand was growing. There was never, ever a dull moment. I had to be on my feet 24-7, thinking of what to do next. With the ever-increasing competition, with the demands of the consumers, people had started knowing us that Nutty Gritties is the best brand for flavored dry fruits. We had to live up to that, that name that we were building. Whenever I would meet people, they would ask me, what flavor are you doing next? And when I, when I heard that, I went back into my, my research center. I jumped with joy. And I'm like, yes, it's time to develop that next product. And today, I stand here with a mission to promote better health, to launch products that will nurture good food habits, especially for the young adults and the young working population. When I look back at my journey and look at the success of Nutty Gritties, I remember that little girl who was standing in the shadow of her grandfather. She had imbibed some really important life lessons and some really important lessons of business ethics, culture, and love. That brings me to my second mission, which is to spread the love with a happy working culture. And I would definitely say that I owe my success to all the people who have painstakingly worked hard towards the development of this brand, towards taking it to the market. The Nutty Gritties family has a large role to play and I wish that the happiness carries on like a ripple effect in people who are directly and indirectly connected to the brand. In the end, I have a special message for you all, especially for the youth, especially for the future of our nation. Empower yourselves. Really figure out what is it that you are passionate about. Once you figure that out, nurture that. Hold on to it fast. Take it up. Go get guidance. Don't be afraid to ask for support from your friends, from your family, from your peers. And once you start your journey, enjoy every single step till you reach the final destination. Don't quit. I can assure you and I can vouch for it that it's well worth it. I'd like to end with my favorite quote, which is my life motto. Whatever you vividly imagine, ardently desire, and enthusiastically act upon, must 
inevitably come to pass. Thank you.